Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome to Pillars of Eternity. So, last time we had a very long conversation about theology or stuff. I don't care. Ah, so we can camp here, that's good to know. Okay, let's go down. Ooh, dark, shadowy, interesting. Even my stigler ears can see in this darkness. Just gain some ingredients, I guess. What this? Just sneaking around, don't mind me. Oh, brilliant, there. Yeah. Ah, there you go, no darkness anymore. Well, that, that actually is beautiful. Huh, weird, incredible. I knew the builders couldn't work wonders, but this is amazing. Can you do that again? I had something in my eye. I missed most of it. Oh, yeah. You found diamonds. Hey, can I upgrade my sword? You actually did notice something. Oh, doesn't look any different. Hey Asha, as always, you can have this. That's very normal bad here. We are sneaking around. No enemies though. Oh, there you go. Got worried for a second there. What are you? Wow. Hey, genius. There you go. No, no, fight this guy. Doesn't matter. William Shade, it says. Find the gods will not serve me well right now. I'm still not more powerful than them. <laughs> How can you grant me strength if I'm more powerful than you? Hello there. Again? Oh my lord, is that a cursed dragon? Shadow dragon. Okay. Technically, it's the same thing. Gwen, run from here. Switch that weapon of yours. It might help a little bit. Hmm. Can you paralyze the dragon, I wonder? Yes, you definitely can. That's good. Another one dead. Gerald, use that. Okay. Gwen, again. That's a good boy, Archer, taking down a dragon. A wolf taking down a dragon. Huh. 
To be honest, that was kind of easy. There are dragon skeletons here. Okay, this way, guys. I'm pretty sure I know where I'm going. Well, hello. The shadow in the cavern suddenly whitens with the shadow of you, or when your eyes adjust to the darkness, you find yourself in the midst of what must be another vision. You are surrounded by mists, ground feels sparkling under your feet. You imagine that uh, soon you take a step, the soul behind you, you erase all trace of your passage. I'm sorry, didn't m I meant to do that. Uh, as if a cue, the mists before you clear just enough for you to take a couple of steps forward. You do the fog closes behind you. You continue for several minutes in this manner, one step at a time, never seeing more than the ground right in front of you. Eventually, rays of light cut through the haze, and you find yourself facing Canyon's well. What is that? Something whizzes past you. Just as you turn, you catch another wisp of moving out of the mist of fields of flights a shape, small and round. You think you see another and another. They uh, they tickle the corner of your vision. You turn back to the canyon. The sun shifts along the path. What looks like a smooth rock face in the hollow of cave. A figure steps out in the future, shifting and changing before your eyes. Can it? It has to be. Well, but I never thought he'd reveal himself in person. It's incredible. Even his form is fickle and unmeasurable. Amazing. The figure transforms from male to female, from almond to almond, its bones lathering and this far, seeming into flesh. The only detail that remains constant is the smooth eyeless uh, face. The whistling rush shapes the mist covering on the verge of a stay form a spinning cloud. You realize that they are eyes. You're very past this mystery. You're buried deep, reinventing yourself with each new path. You un unreal uh, Unravel a thread, Watcher. One you have lost, discovered over a generation, the following it to its end has only brought you back to the beginning. I have been before, yeah, I know, Hitman. Speak plainly. And drain the meaning from the end of you have almost achieved. Your search for answer to your past has led you to another mystery, and one granted still. My goal now is to see the soul has trapped. Um, these mysteries don't matter to me. I just want to keep my own soul from unrevealing. Yet, as you've sought this goal, you foes have pursued another. A nebula of souls blinds the brain with potential. The answers to Verica's questions at the beginning of yours. What would you do with them? Okay, Ramgra, Ondra, and Scan would have me dissolve them. Yet, fresh snowfall covers tracks and waves wipe footprints from the sand, changing the terrain. This is the landscape of a new journey, uncheated discoveries, even the gods request fresh mystery. Do not consign the souls to the fate of some gods choosing. You have found them, now scatter them across existence, the destination known neither to God nor mortal. Let them be lost again. New answers to new riddles. You say I shouldn't let God decide their fate, but it seems you are asking me to do just that. In a way, but something must be done. The hurling them from the machinery of other schemes is the truest course of action. Goodbye, Will. Don't contact me ever again. This word for ending. This is but a crossroads. Even I do not know what you would choose. Then you're not a real god. And since you've made yourself so pathetic, I don't think I'm gonna follow you. Ever. Again. Actually, I do remember I crossed paths with the guy once and he completely failed there. Should we go this way or this way? So we can go from here to here. Long segment of the bridge risks over the ruins of the ancient city. It looks simple enough, but the wipe gap leaves little room for error. Jump! Gets a run start, leaps over the gap, 
Seems like he's gonna fall, actually. South collapse on the other side. Great. Um. We found camping supplies. That's that's cool. Guess. Seem I injured myself. My druid has leveled up. It's a shame I never got to use the druid's uh, magics. I usually take great care of druids. In avoiding druids, should I say. There is absolutely nothing compelling about this guy, unfortunately. <laughs> I don't know what to choose for you. There I choose Marksman because he is willing forgiveness for now. You know, the pistol. Forgiveness. You know, if it was a chest, I would have rested here and jumped back. Then I would probably need to rest again, actually. Okay. Let's rest. And we got the quest about the Green Mother. That's something I'll complain about later, though. Hello, other god who wishes me to do their will. Oh. Oh, uh... No dragons this time around? This way, people. Break through there! Ah, oh, there's a dragon. Huh. I missed you sorely, mate. Let's see if I can paralyze you for a little bit. Oh, no, don't mind, Gwen. I have a druid here. I mean, despite my druid. thing about druids is that they be can become wild animals. Okay, one. Paralyze him again. Why do people like Gerald so much? Okay, bring this guy down. Next, this one. Gwen. Focus. Oh, dang it. What am I supposed to do now? Just finish this little dragon off. We our mothers to attend to. More important ones. There. Okay, everyone. Oh. I can't click on him. Fine, take this guy. Your fate is at an end. What did you lose? Dexterity. Oh, dang it. Not dexterity. Everything else but dexterity would have done. So, am I going the right way here? Because there is a door, apparently. Didn't think I would notice, did you? Hmm. Hey, look, bodies. Exceptional male armor. Funny. Next. Exceptional stiletto. Oh, you're just kidding with me. Yeah, you know, want do you want to say something, Asha? Speak with me. Wasn't that just a beat all? Here I was wondering all the time whether all these terrible things were people's fault or gods. It turns out they might be the same thing. You're weird. I wonder how things would have gone differently 15 years ago if the Redicans had been told their god was made in some forged caliph someplace. Would we still have gone to war? We'll never know. I could see the rebellion still happening. I don't know. They would have uh, invaded. I just don't know. When uh, Wooden left for the war, we, we had a fight. As brothers will. What about, uh, what about idiot? About him going off to war. What else, idiot? He was set on it, but my parents warned him. They said you get a new country with every strip across the border. Dear God, you only get one. Me, I didn't know what, uh, who was right. When he was, I didn't want him to go. It's the same families as it is for gods. You only get one. Uh, no, that's not true. I said every vicious thing. Uh, it's not true about gods. Sure, family can expand, so you have a choice there as well. 
It's um, a very vicious thing I could think of, trying to change his mind. He brushed his off, just got me mother and concert. him being so calm. He said I could come with him, but I, uh, he'd understand if I didn't want to. Told him he'd be better able to face his gods one day and thanks for what uh, he's been, uh, he'd do. He'd done, sorry. He said he'd keep that in mind and then he, going, he went, just left. By the time I called it off, months had passed. One morning he drowned on me that my brother always knew better than me. And if uh, he was so sure of what he was doing, then I should be there with him. I packed my things and was on the road that same morning. Of course, what I didn't know then was that he'd already changed his mind by the time he was dead on the field. Ooh, let's just go. Huh, still one more mess we gotta straighten out. Come on. I see all you. You do? I assume you do, but should I go into this room? Let's just go there. Ooh, a room. Machine. Wow. Descrip descriptions. What's that? It's a machine. Are you serious? Are you ready to take the other path to spread the word of the gods to the lost of the heathens? I'm trusting you to remain loyal to the gods in this. I wouldn't ask you this, were there any other choice? This is a missionary, same as I was, thought the wrong thing as I was. Osinius, they have held off many would be invaders. You're ready to give confession. I am ready to hear one from you. Right, anyway, I'm gonna end this episode here because I think that's gonna be the last battle and I will perhaps rest before we start it off. So, gonna see you all next time. Goodbye.